What is up YouTube and welcome back to another Fallout 76 tips and tricks tutorial. I'm Virtual Papa and today we'll be going over three ways to get fusion cores without using flux. Before we start this video I just would like to say if you could give this video a thumbs up it really helps the algorithm. Also if you want more tips and tricks hit the subscribe button and turn on those notifications. Also we do have a Facebook group. If you would like to join, there will be a link in the description of this video. So check that out. Feel free to join. There's all kinds of cool people to meet up with there. But all right, guys, without further ado, let's get this video started. Okay, the first method, which most of you probably know. But with Wastelanders coming out, more people are starting to join this game. So I'm just going to put this out there. You want to fast travel to Poseidon Energy. Once you get there, you'll have to clear out all of the enemies. It's pretty simple. They're all low level. Once you get them all cleared out, you can then build at the workshop. I see some people will power up Poseidon. It's an event that you can do. You can power it, and then you won't have to build a generator. But it takes a lot of time. It's kind of confusing. And personally, I just don't like to do it. So what I do, I just build a fusion generator. That gives you 100 power, which is plenty to power the core generator. If you don't have a fusion generator, you can fast travel down to Watoga train station. Once at the train station, they sell it there. I think it's 200 some caps, maybe between 200 and 500 caps. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, I always, that's one of the first purchases I make whenever I, uh, when I start a new character. So just keep that in mind. Method number two. This method is a little more complicated. It helps to have a melee weapon that does a decent amount of damage to it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you're in a public server. You're gonna fast travel to White Springs Resort. Once you're at the resort, you're gonna go and see a sentry bot. So you're gonna go melee it to death. As soon as it dies, you're going to spam X on PlayStation, A on Xbox, and I believe it's E on PC. And that will collect all of the stuff that is inside of the sentry bot. Then you're going to back away from the sentry bot. Let it explode like it always does. As soon as it blows up, you'll go back to it. And all of that junk, in, including the fusion core, will be back on it. You can go pick it all back up. And then you get two fusion cores out of it. Now the downside of this method. Fusion cores aren't at 100%. But if you're in a pinch, this method works. Method number three. This method is by far the easiest and safest way to get fusion cores. And you can do it right at your camp. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna equip Gunsmith 4 and Super Duper 3 in your perk card. So if you don't have those, definitely recommend getting them. And then also you're gonna need the plan for the Gatlin laser. You can get that plan at Watoga Shopping Center. It's a couple thousand caps, but if you use the right cams and you have enough charisma, you can get you can get that price down a decent amount. So you're gonna go to your workbench, weapons workbench, go there, Gatlin laser, and craft as many as you can. It does use quite a bit of materials, but that's why you want to do super duper so you can really maximize the amount of Gatlin lasers that you get. Once you get your Gatlin lasers, they come with a fusion core. So then you can go, you can scrap your Gatlin lasers, and you will see, in my example here, I got 12 fusion cores out of it. I was able to craft 12 Gatlin lasers. It did, like I said, use quite a bit of materials, but it's a lot cheaper than crafting at a chemistry bench chemistry benches to craft a fusion core you need one of each flux per fusion core it's ridiculously expensive so yeah guys that's the three methods i hope this helped you out if you guys have any other ways that you like to get fusion cores leave a comment down below if you haven't already hit that like button consider subscribing for more fallout 76 tips and tricks and turn on those notifications guys until next time stay safe out there in the wasteland See you.